from the great state of Texas. You are now listening to Skip the Noise Podcast, a Rounded Edge Media production. Thank you so much for joining us. And by us, of course, I am referring to Rick, a.k.a. the Brown Python Ben, a.k.a. Mexican Nostradamus, and myself, Benji, here for another fantastic episode. So it's going to be a little different. As you remember, we did the old remix a few episodes ago. So unfortunately, we, we weren't able to record a regular episode this week. Just schedules got a little too heavy. Shit got a little too real, but everything's fine. But what we are going to do is I've hashed together uh, some sort of a compilation of Party in the Backs from a couple of episodes, or from three episodes. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and uh, we will catch you next week. Hopefully we'll have everything back to normal, so we'll do a updated uh, current episode of Skip the Noise. But until then, enjoy. Maybe you're driving home on your commute, which is the whole the whole structure, which I was mentioning to these guys before we started recording. You know what I mean? You drive to work, you want to get a little a little news and politics and some good debates going before you enter the workplace and have that mindset. And then on your way home, you're driving back in the second half, you put on skip the noise. Now you're a little more, you're you know, relaxed, you're in a better mood. You want to hear the crazy shit. So before we get into the real meat of the party in the back second half for episode 39 big old salami meat as i tend to do you know it's it's no secret if you listen to skip the noise that uh your boy benjamin james has some pretty crazy dreams uh some people are just sort of prone to that i am one of those almost every single night i go to sleep and i sleep heavy i sleep like a fucking brick (laughs) i have dreams sometimes i remember them more than others but so i had one i just sometimes i just want to bring them up on the show just because it was weird and uh, at the sake of sounding like a complete uh, insane piece of shit, you know what? Here, here it goes. We're, you're oh. going to hear about it. So the other night, it was probably two nights ago, I woke up and I remembered a pretty good amount of my dream. But I'm really going to only bring up one aspect because that's the, the focal point. But just to set the scenario, this involved... Um, for some reason, I was on the football team, like, you know, I was the same age I am now, but I was a member of a high school football team, which I'm not sure it'd be interesting to know the backstory of that, but we were coming back from a game and I had, you know, we were like putting your equipment up or whatever. And then there was a flood, which, you know, and every three months in Houston, it fucking floods like catastrophic, (laughs) you know, century hundred year floods happen here every two weeks. So floods seem to be a common theme in my dream. Uh, So, yo, therapist, if you're out there listening, maybe let me let me know what the fuck that means. You might be able to help me out with that. Uh, And shout out if you've never heard her podcast, uh, the therapist on anywhere your podcast, please subscribe. Good friend of the show. But anyway, I digress. Uh, So I had to help somebody's car had fell. In the water, right? And it was some, you know, like a real rundown, probably early 80s, like fucking Dotson or something for whatever reason. And everybody was, oh, they're all freaking out. I lost my car and fucking went down in the flood. And I was kind of like, oh, Jesus, you fucking pussies. Like, all right, fucking I got to fucking Benji's got to solve all these fucking problems like every other time. So I call, I pointed to like two or three people like, all right, motherfucker, like swim down. Let's get this shit. Like, and everybody's going along with it. Like, all right, fuck, whatever he says. So we all swim down, no scuba equipment whatsoever. It was a four man job. One guy, like we could actually do this in real life is beyond me, but this is what happened in the dream. One, one uh, male gentleman on each tire and somehow we swam and brought the fucking car back up. Okay. So after we completed that task, I was like, oh shit. Like I was a, you know, man, I'm tired. Like, okay, I'm out of here, man. I'm going home. So I was walking, mind you, this is still in a high school. So whoever lost their car, this was within the confines of a high school campus that (laughs) this flood happened. You know how dreams are, right? So I'm walking down the stairs and this is where, this is the aspect I wanted to bring up. I run into two exotic dancers uh, one I believe was white, a blonde, another African American. You know, obviously both very young, attractive ladies. As most strippers, you know, that's how you make your money. Sometimes so, are. Yeah. What's that? As most strippers sometimes are. 
Oh, you know, okay. I thought you said no, something about always. the knight, the, the knight's templar. Yeah, no, not always. <laughs> the knight's it, depending templar. What, I thought oh, I was shit. like, whoa, that, I didn't have any kind of that comparison, but whatever. <laughs> tell really that, that, that would have been, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> but anyway, so these two ladies were on the staircase and it was almost like, so I got the impression. I don't remember if any of this was stated, but it was like, you know, COVID has provided hard times uh, if you are a stripper or exotic dancer. Right. Obviously. Okay. If that's your yeah. means of paying your rent and making cash happen for your bank account, it's been some tough times, dude. And you've probably had to resort to other methods. I'm not going <laughs> to delve into what that might be, but um, <laughs> let's be just the secretary. <laughs> exactly. There's some temp work. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you might've seen an uptick in some, some hot uh, temp workers recently in the last uh, year or maybe not, but nonetheless. So these two young ladies, and they were very nice and very pleasant. They were trying to sell me. One of them, a matter of fact, had a briefcase and they were trying to sell me some products. Okay. And I think they might've even mentioned like, Hey, yo, COVID for strippers has been hard times. We are out here pushing uh, basically sex merchandise. And I was right up front in telling these ladies that like, yo, before you even open this fucking briefcase, I need you to know something about me. I'm a very strong believer in, I don't bring any paraphernalia into my bedroom for any of the activities. I'm a very strong believer in that. The, the, the highest power, you know what I mean? God, yeah. right. Ja whoever brother they provided us with 10 fingers okay i've got a cock i've got a mouth i've got you know what i mean like i've got plenty of equipment to 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 handle to to deal with i'm not sure and this is how i feel in real life i don't think it's a good idea to start bringing fucking paraphernalia into your sex life you can, I get it. It's fun. Whatever you want to do in your bedroom with your <laughs> consenting, whatever you want to do with your consenting partner is your business, dude. I'm not hating. Whatever you want to do, bro. That's fine. I'm just saying my stance. I see it a little bit of a, of a bigger thing. I think it's a, it's funny, you know, sex is something to joke. It, you know, it's a funny topic, but on, in a real and I'm talking to the skip the noise list in a real sense. I just feel like, no, man, it should be two human beings and whatever you got, whatever equipment God gave you, that's what you're working with in the bedroom. I don't believe in bringing objects into the, the scenario. That's just how I feel. And that's what I, mean, I told not this girl. everyone has a footer, man. Okay. I just want to put it out there. <laughs> well, yeah, I definitely, I definitely don't have a footer. That's I'll go on record as saying it's definitely not a foot, uh, <laughs> but um you know, hey, it's, it, it, yeah, but <laughs> hey, you're fucking listening, though, aren't you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you gotta admit, dude, like, like awesome. I'm bringing you along for the journey. So I told, I told one of these young ladies that, and the African American one was kind of like, hey, yo, like, I, I get it, like, I'm kind of with you, you know, but I'm just saying it's hard times, bro. Like we got to hard sell these, these things. Like she kind of leveled with me. Like, yo, I kind of honestly, yeah, I, I feel you. So I was like, okay, cool. So me and her kind of vibe, like I got you, but the blonde was still like, well, I, like, you know what I mean? She was like the car salesman, like, well, fuck this Nissan's got fucking the backwards uh, <laughs> reverse cam and shit. Like that was the scenario I was in. <laughs> like she was still like, yo, your kids are going to die. If you don't have this fucking backwards reverse cam, like, yo, my mother drove without the reverse cam for like, a century of automotive. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. And now, and now I'm, I'm wrapping it up. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> She pulled out a product and she's like, did you know? And this is, I'm going to propose this. This is why I didn't bring this up to y'all. Cause I wanted this to be a surprise <laughs> to the two pharmacists. And I didn't Google this shit either. Cause I didn't want this thing on my search history, this question <laughs> or, 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 or this queer. I didn't, I want I didn't want to put this query into my Google search. Okay. I didn't want anything to do with it. Only in my imagination. She said to me in the dream, she goes, yo, 
if you if you like had a little she had like a little vial a little droplet of iodine she's like yo if you drop a little couple drops of iodine on your chick's asshole it'll it'll tighten up <laughs> bro i'm not lying this is what she said in my dream she huh. said it'll tighten up and like it's gonna be dope is it real and i <laughs> dude that's what that's why i'm asking you guys the pharmacist i was like what the fuck like hey yo like i'm not bringing iodine i said i already told you my stance so whatever and then i woke up but i woke up with this question like <laughs> dude is there any fucking validity do porn star you know what i mean like is there some is this something that like somehow i learned by osmosis like are <laughs> do porn stars do shit like this or is this a thing i mean and not that I'm, my, not, I'm not, not going to Google it, dude. I'm not, not that my pharmacy specialty has anything to do with iodine and puckering up assholes, but <laughs> um, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that that does not cause an asshole to pucker it's unless false. it's burning. That's unless false. it <laughs> unless it's burning your asshole. No, did, did, we, we, establish, did that? we establish that that's false claim? That's it's, not only false; it's going to make your asshole look like it's bleeding. It's going to look pretty. Yeah, that's going to be terrible. It's not going to be the. It's not going to be the experience not only that, you're but hoping for. Do you know what it's going to have? That's going to do to you. I yeah. mean, oh god! And then you going <laughs> oh, into no. this oh. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah the only thing that I know can pucker up a an asshole is probably Botox. Yeah. Botox injections. Well, no, no, no. Okay. It, was no, it, it happens. Right. Yeah. No, it, I thought it would it, loosen it up because the, the injection would would lo- release the, the the muscle. Doesn't it constrict the muscle? Doesn't it like stretch it? Isn't that how it works with your face? No, 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 no. Doesn't so it, it it deadens that muscle, so that's why it goes placid. Oh, so remember, you have a lot of skin. Yes, yeah. it goes placid. So instead of it being in a continual phase of tense, it releases it, I believe. Oh, that's not good. So botulinum so toxin. So really, you would just you shot in someone's asshole. They would just have a loose asshole. The exact hmm. opposite of the iodine theory that we were easy. testing. <laughs> but either way. You know, man, we need we wanna... need that. The more you know star that just went across the screen <laughs> right now. I just thought that it was dope that I was getting this advice from these strippers who were like, Oh, oh what have, they had, have to return the iodine. They had all the science. Yeah. No, I didn't buy it. I <laughs> woke up. Ben, yeah. had, ben has like four bottles. He's like, fuck, I got to take this. Dude, down. that makes sense though. Uh, I just had a light bulb moment. You know, yeah, in the right? scene of um, Wolf of Wall Street where he snorted the cocaine off the asshole. Yeah. Is that cocaine? Wouldn't that constrict? Yes. Asshole? Now that possible. Yes. yes. Dude. Because Maybe it causes yeah, vasoconstriction. It causes vasoconstriction. If there's a constriction, it tightens it up and you can snort the cocaine off her asshole. There you go, man. Oh boy. Done. Yeah, that's that's uh <laughs> let's, that's, let's that's, go to Vegas. That's smelly cocaine. I don't know. Cocaine has already enough issues. Now you want cocaine tainted and <laughs> possible shit. So let's just go. Let's go all in. Either way, I think we uh we all learned something there. So yeah. and like I said, man, uh once again, <laughs> no matter how I, fucked I, up my dream, actually the more fucked up my dreams are, the more apt I am to share them. So I'm laying it out there for you guys. This is I'm I'm giving you a window into my psyche. Um, you know what I mean? Despite how weird it makes me seem. Oh. I don't care. This is awesome. for the no, show. that's good, man. I'm this not ashamed awesome. of it. I'm so but I, I genuinely, we, I, I genuinely wanted to know if I mean I don't know much about iodine other than like it's in shrimp and shit and sea life. <laughs> it's in shrimp and sea life. You get some salt. Some salt has iodine. Yeah, I mean, but other than that, dude, yeah, um, liquid iodine is not going to cause any type no. of puckering. Nope. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe I guess we solved know. that. We solved that fucking mystery. But so on, on to the next thing, which is this is what we really wanted to fucking get <laughs> oh, after. This no, 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 no. We really wanted to talk about the asshole. Well, we That's did. We I really mean, to get I, I definitely did. Um, but so we, we should make call, a show so, just an asshole show, you know? Anyway. Yeah, we could. They probably that um, exists. I'm sure there's somebody oh, on sure. on anchor. There's some. Like, <laughs> an, an, <laughs> Some, anyway, uh, go ahead, anchor, I'm sorry. Anchor I'm sorry, podcast. No, no, no. I just wanted to set up what we're about to talk about. So, um, obviously, skip the noise. You know, every every few episodes, we touch on the possibility of life from outside our our galaxy or our at least World. our planet. Okay, uh, UFOs, UAPs is the new jargon. Um, we talk about these a lot. Plus, it's it's come up quite a bit in the last year or two as the the need and the sort of the public uh you know what the the discourse has been a lot more open 
with the government and these things recently than it has been in our lifetimes. I can say that for sure. So we call, I, I have to say, I think even before we had mentioned that the, the 180 day disclosure clause that was part of the stimulus bill uh, when Trump was still president, uh, that Jeremy so pointed out on episode 37. Uh, so what's the date now? June 25th is when, so. yeah. according to whenever the, the timing of the thing. So basically the, the CIA, all the intelligence agencies have until this time to fully disclose everything that they know or that they've gathered about um, UAPs or UFOs is the, the common uh, historical term. So, Another thing I wanted to point out is earlier in 2020, and, and it skipped the noise that all three of us have been kind of in unison on this, that, hey, 2021, it, you know, we've all followed to some degree or another the, the study of this kind of shit, the, you know, alien life and UFOs, the phenomena, as if you will, that disclosure has always been brought up, man, since the fucking 90s, like, oh, it's going to happen this year, blah, blah, blah. It really looks like it. We all concur that like, yo, 2021, this is when we're actually getting some information that could be fucking significant for this study. Um, they developed back in August. It was announced that there is a UAP task force that is supposed to, that is in charge of gathering information on everything cited. Um, but anyway, the recent event that we want to talk about, Ben, I want you, you to introduce this topic. Uh, well, there's just been a flood of stories, and especially I saw yeah. a lot hit the front pages today. One in particular that caught my my opinion was that basically the military is already kind of talking about possible technologies that the aliens could possibly have. One of them being that the craft that they cited, I think this is even coming from the favor, the the favor video where you see the the jet pilot chasing after them was that these crafts were moving faster than the speed of sound without a sonic boom, which is leads to so many different possibilities. So what they're kind of doing is preempting technology that will probably be what's going to, you know, to be the big, the big, the big actual revealer. So in order for something to travel faster than the speed of sound, without a sonic boom, it would have to have no resistance, which is impossible. And on top of that, it would have to almost in a way defy gravity. It would have to defy thermodynamic laws. It would have to do all these things. Physics. It has to defy yeah, physics. Exactly. And the only way to do that would be by nullifying some of the laws of physics, mainly gravity. But we, we and it was crazy when I brought this up because in Rick, you... I want you to chime in with what you said too. But one of the, my concept was that we're kind of talking about anti-gravity technology now. Like these guys are able to project and move things through matter without resistance. And the only way you're going to do that is nullifying gravity, which is what they're kind of already explaining in some of these leaked stories, supposedly leaked stories, or some of these leaked reports, which is pretty fucking awesome because once we can nullify gravity, then everything is possible, right? The possibility of travel becomes unbelievable because if we can nullify gravity, then what keeps us from lifting a whole city and taking it into space? nothing that takes away our worry about moving large-scale operations into space which is fucking nuts but well, but chime in with your thought on that too rick because i thought that yeah, was really fucking fascinating I, so yeah it's fascinating because here's the thing now it's not just the technology that they come up with it's it's the, the, the physics it has to be retaught right if you come up with the, a mechanism or law whereby you can travel at sonic speeds and not create a sonic boom. And you know how that's done. I mean, you've just rearranged physics, you know, from A to Z. Right. It's got to be, you got to think about how the world, the universe now works again. Right. Uh, completely different because a sonic boom, what it is, is as you're traveling, 
um, really fast. Uh, the, sp- the, w- the sound waves are compressing in front of you as you're traveling faster. So a sonic boom is when you go faster than those waves and you break through that wave and you create a boom. Okay. So how is this, how is this thing able to traverse through the air and not make a sound, even though you're going faster than the speed of sound? How, you, how does it break through these waves and not make a sound? I mean, think about that. Yeah. If you matter that bending, out, you're bending matter. You're bending the laws of physics. Like you say, you're bending reality almost to make yeah. something like that occur. I mean, it almost makes me think that maybe the propulsion system is something to the is probably being this ship is probably blown being flown in another dimension, and they can go super fast and you don't hear it. Um, and it's oh, okay. A, because, so do you think that okay? So do you think like when they're flying, they hop from like our dimension to another dimension to achieve these supersonic speeds exactly. and hop back in? That's exactly. fucking cool. I didn't even think about that. So what we're yeah. seeing is the signature. So that's why these things seem to disappear for a second. And we almost, and probably even machines, there's almost an optical illusion that they're still in our realm, but they're popping in and out. Yeah. And the, the drives are causing some type of energy flux that can kind of be seen almost as a trail, but really they popped in and out of existence on our plane. That's exactly. Wild. I'm pretty sure that if you're, you're flying a jet, you're trying to shoot a missile at this thing. You're not going to hit anything. It's going right. to go right through it. And right. the reason is that it's not there. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, the, that that's one of the concepts that people always talk about, especially in sci-fi, being able to travel beyond the speed of light is by creating basically a bubble of which is like an antimatter, anti-gravity bubble, which can therefore you can violate the laws of physics in this bubble because you've recreated a whole dimension in it. So you'll exactly. be able to move in and out of space without breaking the laws. Cause you've literally created like, I guess you could say subspace, this bubble. I, they always try to say like a bubble. Yeah. And so, yeah, I think that I, I thought what I see, I just thought, Oh, they're using some type of anti-gravity, but the concept that you thought is even fucking greater because if they're popping in and out of reality, either way, this is fucking nuts because they're talking about technology now this is how you slowly release technology right this is how you slowly release like to the public the concepts of these type of 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 this type of technology right i mean it's fucking nuts yeah it's 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 fucking nuts and so I, i to me i just i just think this is us getting closer and fucking closer to disclosure and so with that being it. said, right? Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, think about it. I mean, in our in our reality, in our dimension, right? You can't go faster than the speed of light, right? Okay, you you have to create a sonic boom when you go past the speed of sound, right? Um, but what's to say that um, you know you don't put on like a let's just say a ring, like the like Lord of the Rings, and you disappear into another dimension, right? And you can you can literally travel faster than the speed of light. You can travel faster than the speed of sound. You may create a sonic boom, but on this side, you won't hear it. You'll just see it. So anyway, I don't know, man. I, I hope I hope they release it. I hope it leads to good things. Hopefully, they don't make you know supersonic nuclear missiles or anything well, like that. Of course, they're going to. Of course, they're going to. <laughs> of course, they're going to make dimension jumping nuclear weapons. Of course, they will. <laughs> because what, that's what we do. We do oh, shitty fuck, things man. to fuck everybody up. But I like now. That disclosure is not just coming out saying, oh, we, we saw the, the, the Tic Tac. Now they're saying, well, the, the, this, this the, whatever it is, had the ability to travel faster than speed of sound without producing a sonic boom. And for most people, they're like, okay. But for people that actually understand physics signature. more, right? When you understand physics more, you know that the faster you go, the more heat you make. Yeah. And not only that, but the, the fact that they're, uh government officials are freely discussing this with the media and exactly. saying like yeah we've observed things that don't fit into the parameters of what our science can explain exactly and that, that to me is, is the beginning is, of it that's what i'm saying like that did not happen nope like if you're if you're young 
<laughs> young skip the noise listener the reason we're making such a big fucking deal about this is we've the three of us have been interested in this shit for fucking ever ever there has mm-hmm. never been a time where the air quotes the man has made statements like this yep. Yep. ever I mean, I uh, sent this okay. shit to my wife and she was like, is this fucking real? Like, is this a real story? Is it is this really? Because the ramifications of this is it's, it's insane. People, they're talking about alien technology or at the very least, they're talking about technology that supersedes us by generations. This isn't just a 10 or 20 year leap. Like people jerk off all the time going, oh, in the 1800s, they had horses. In the 1900s, they flew. This is beyond that. This is a complete redefinition of mathematics, understanding of physical matter, the understanding of the universe. And they're just saying, oh, you know, it it could travel without a sonic boom. But if for most people that take that same, like, wait, well, hold, what? Well, hold on a second. If you, you know what I'm saying? So to me, I, yeah. I just, this is huge. This is huge. And so with that being said, my tinfoil hat really went hard in the paint because I was just sitting there going, okay, so disclosure is happening, right? This is going to fucking happen at some point. I mean, I really think it's this year. I could be wrong, but guys, I think there, there, something's going to be told to us because there's no way they're releasing this much information without, you know, they're, they're giving a little bit at a time to get us ready for the big moment. But I was thinking, right? COVID. And, and, and I'm not, and please, this is just, this is just everyone fucking take this as brain candy. Don't fucking go running around oh, saying this crazy motherfucking Mexicans talking this stupid shit about COVID. Okay. <laughs> but just take oh, it boy. as fucking, just take it oh, as fucking boy. brain candy. Aliens okay? and COVID. Here we go. So what happens, right? If COVID was actually manufactured for disclosure, Right. What happens if COVID being it's a virus, right? Anyone, and then, and so just a quick synopsis of the viruses, they inject um, their machinery into cells and co opt it to make new cellular proteins for themselves and to reproduce because they lack the machinery because they're very rudimentary um, organisms, you could say. They say they're not alive, but their abilities are pretty lifelike. But what happens if COVID was manufactured? so that it would produce proteins or something to protect the human populace in preparation for disclosure. So that's why it was released naturally. And so now they're giving it, now that it's kind of done its thing naturally, and I was like, oh, we have all this vaccine that so just happens to be here. But the reason why they kind of did that was because in a way they were preparing us because they knew that 1% of the population exposed to these aliens was going to die. So instead like old people. Yeah. Well, yeah, just one to 1%. I mean, because remember it could be old people, but it could be anybody also kind of right. But yeah. what happens if they already knew 1% of the population? So to soften the blow of alien microbes, they manufactured a virus that would do it all before they got here and then inoculate us and prepare all the strong ones that survived, which really isn't strong, but 99% of the people that caught it that survived, it would fortify them to prepare them for what is coming. That's a really big tenfold hat, man. Dude, I'm telling I you, I, know. Fuck it, I went all in today. Man, I, was I don't know. It. That's 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 a bit of a stretch. What it could have just been some, you know, some bat that, you know. No, but we think about it though. What happens? I mean, think about it. That's why it was manufactured. That's why it was released. What? Well, what? That's why there were so many idiosyncrasies with this whole disease. Like, oh, wear masks. Don't wear masks. Do this. Don't do that. So much misinformation coming from so many sources that actually propagated. And then once, you know, what I'm saying, like, in even the, yeah. in the beginning, they said, oh, masks don't don't stop it. And now, oh yeah, masks stop it. But they said, well, but, but they, it really doesn't. They really you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, what happens if the whole point was really for it to be just spread throughout the country, throughout the world? I mean, that would that. be a reason why we have COVID. I mean, that's the best reason I've heard. Well, I haven't, we haven't it. been given any any more information about COVID's existence nope. other than, you know, 
it's, we know it's created. It's I'll, I'll yeah. give a fuck. Everyone, it was created. Okay, it was fucking created. Yeah. But what happens if it was created in preparation for, for a reason? I, well, and it was because, you know, no one wants to think that when, you know, fucking ET lands, 1% of the population of the world dies because of yeah. microbes and alien whatever. The is. vaccine is, is part of that. Yep. And so we're fucking taking the vaccine in preparation for our alien overlords. That's what the fuck is going down. Well, dude. that's why I haven't taken the vaccine yet. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Then you're fucked because they're going to fuck you up. No, and man. I, I, I've i seen enough daytime TV to, to see the stupid Lord commercials. <laughs> it's like, I know that in about 10 years, we're going to see like, if you've oh, taken the COVID vaccine and you have mesothelioma, please call the law office of douchebag and douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Their number is fucking awesome. That's inside, dude. That's inside baseball right there. Good, that is, good. Uh, that that was awesome. beautifully done, Rick. That's that's, awesome. that's like a that's dog whistle. That's only the three of us get that. But that's oh, a, <laughs> that's if you watch Mari. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just I just thought it was fucking crazy that you know we I really there's a lot more coming out. So either there's some really fucking crazy technology that somebody has, you know, either Rocket Man that keeps going by the fucking LA fucking like, you know, by the fucking LAX, the Rocket Man flying by that shit all the time. They haven't caught him yet. Yeah, exactly. You got this fucking, yeah. They haven't even got Iron Man. This motherfucker. Yeah, right. You got fucking Iron Man flying around. You got fucking everything. Dude, I'm telling you. Fucking, he's in like, uh, What's I don't know the term. I was gonna say international, but it's not really international. But like, I mean, motherfuckers in like airspace, like prohibited. Exactly. You ain't supposed to be up there on a jetpack, dude. And he's <laughs> fucking doing it, bro. Maybe he's multidimensional yeah. too. You know exactly, dude. We're fucking. Dude, no, I, I think guys, it's going. No, he, down, that's bro. just a dude. That's just no. like fuck it. But but that's why. So I was thinking. So I really think that I so I saw that story. There's multiple stories about other other things that the military basically are stating that they don't understand how they able, were able to do this. And apparently they're sitting on a fuck ton of reports. So at some point, even if you start looking at all these reports and saying, let's, let's just run Occam's razor by it and say, you know, the simplest explanation is, is the most, you know, it's typically the true one. When does that become the reality? Whenever you, let's say you have 10,000 cases right? 1% of them have veracity, which is typically in all of reality, things typically happen to occur quite a bit more than 1%, right? The yeah. veracity of yeah. this is the, 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 the problem, the sheer probability now is that there's something going on and that we're going to be fucking alerted to it. And whether it is, if we got if whether, you know, Rick turns inside out when he meets the over alien overlords, cause he didn't take his COVID <laughs> vaccine. Nice are not it, it's it's a big deal man i really 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 you really know, and it's crazy they don't make kids the kid push hasn't gone through because maybe they were born with it and only certain people oh, older shit. people the fucking indigo fucking older children, people bro. yeah fucking older people weren't born with it that's why they fucking get fucking murked by fucking covid bro Dude, I'm fucking hidden as shit. There, uh, there's gonna be helicopters Dude, outside fucking, in a little bit. Bro, my daughter can edit a fucking TikTok video. Like I can write one plus one equals two. Yeah. <laughs> like they're di- they're fucking yes, bro. <laughs> nice. They're different than us, bro. Nice. Dude, and my son, my son headshots we- kids on fucking Destiny. Not <laughs> even thinking. I can't fucking do it. whack, I can, whack, whack, whack. I mean, I all can headshots. barely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can barely make like bullshit jumps on fucking super like Mario side bike yeah. dude i yeah. i was not able to hit it i can barely hit the ducks and duck hunt all right exactly yeah no, my son saying. dude like, i saw him i saw him take out like seven dudes with all headshots and just single shots just running around with the sniper rifle i'm like dude, what is wrong with you i tried to play I like was whenever scared. i was intimidated bro, when, whenever Fortnite was all the rage and like my son and my sister-in-law were playing that shit like i tried to get in the mix a little bit like oh let me try this and Dude, like, how do you understand that many fucking buttons? Like, people are building shit and they're jumping, and then they're like changing yeah, weapons, yeah. and then they're zeroing in on my fucking temple, and they're like, boom! I couldn't last. Like, I couldn't even have fun with that fucking game. I like that like, game. I, I like that game. I mean, it was. It's a great 
thing. I mean, it's all, I know it's over now. Like it's not even cool anymore, but when it was like at its height of its popularity, like I kind of dipped into it for a second and uh, I just, yeah, I couldn't right. understand that. That was the one thing that stuck out to me was like, who the fuck are these <laughs> kids that their minds can do all this shit? Dude, I, I'm it, telling dude, you, it surpassed my, I, I couldn't. Well, that's it, why man. COVID doesn't affect kids. They're already kind of inoculated. Like They're after a certain inoculated. time frame, where older people are fucked I'm up saying, by dude, it because they didn't that, get the fuck. I'm telling you, the end, it's the indigo dude, generation guys, or whatever. I'm telling you right now, there's gonna be fucking black helicopters dropping down, man. It's fucking going down. You're, there I, is, I, man. I'm telling you. Know, you. Uh, you guys talk about Rocket Man. I want to see him fly over Area 51 and see if they Ooh. catch him. Yeah, they're gonna hit him with a missile. Him, you think yeah. so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. No, Eric. I, well, I don't know. I mean, they they still. I know Eric. I, oh, by the way, fucking going to head out to fucking Roswell this oh. summer. It's on the family vacation list. I'm oh, fucking shit. cannot nice. wait. I'm taking a million pictures by aliens. Um, but I think they still test quite a bit of military hardware out there. So I would probably not do that. Also, that area, quite a few nuclear bombs were detonated out there. <laughs> Remember, there's, there's there's some areas over there that has quite a bit of radioactivity still. Yeah, yeah. So, no, you know, from it. all the from all the Los Alamos tests and all that shit, and yeah, we decided we're just going to try nuclear weapons. Right Why not? By, yeah, in our own country. Pretty soon, we're going to have a multi-dimensional nuclear weapons too. Oh so my god, can you imagine awesome. that? Oh, you might, okay. So there's this writer called Ian M. Banks, right? And so instead of a weapon like like what you think like oh an interdimensional uh nuclear weapon instead what he would do was it's fucking crazy pin size black holes <laughs> does, does Sorry, that man. scare you okay no. <laughs> uh-oh yeah. they got him <laughs> fucking overlords oh, found him yo that's the scariest feeling when you feel something go get your foot isn't it uh, and for uh, for everyone at home, Rick literally Sorry. just jumped out of his seat almost Dude. and acted like, yeah. It, no, it, we, it's just, we thought we thought the aliens got Rick. There's a little there's a little fly or something. It just it hit my ankle. It's pretty close to my nuts, man. No way. Oh uh, man, it's not a, that uh-oh. ain't a fly, dude. I thought, uh-uh. <laughs> fucking aliens, bro. You just you just got your nuts tickled by an alien. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to get garden. fresh with you they're trying to figure out why you're not taking the vaccine but anyways <laughs> fuck dude I, i'm telling you man it's just fucking awesome i really and the best part is is i'm gonna be in that area around the time that at that time yeah Yo, right. you're gonna you're gonna have to zoom in we're gonna have to record like for oh, you oh dude i'm gonna, gonna be blast. live so look forward to that this summer Oh, dude, there's going to be lights in the sky. We're going to fucking do a badass podcast. Oh, yeah, dude. It's going to be Fuck great. yeah, dude. It's Get your, bring your great. laptop and do that shit from outside. Oh, for People sure. live from the fucking I'm source. For sure. For fucking sure. I'm going to, oh, dude, I'm going to get a video of fucking Roswell. It's going down. But that being said, guys, I think we... I think we've i think we've run the course so i think by hopefully yeah. you've already made it home with uh ben's analogy earlier hopefully you're pulling in the garage <laughs> it was a nice peaceful drive you know you're not too paranoid about the aliens taking you no, um no. yeah you know but uh now it's, it's a good. saving private ryan moment you know you're gonna go through that door the wife's gonna probably oh, yell at you a little bit fuck, gonna dude. dodge it dude, <laughs> what? jesus what what wow like okay look if every time you walk into your home Are, are any advertising entity with the money to purchase this program and now basically own you and they right? can purchase that shit like they can sell oh, oh they, they, they sell to government can. so so here's the thing in the in the united states right we have um you know certain they may be paper thin but we do have at least an entity or laws that regulate somewhat this type of behavior but if these these malware uh <clears throat> these you know for-profit malware creators bar you know sell their services to 
<laughs> regimes that are oppressive. What the absolute fuck, right? Like yep. you see, you see how vulnerable a society is. And but once it, here's the thing about what's fucked up about tech is once it bleeds in and once it gets in encroaches on one population, it, it you know what I mean? These aren't like <laughs> these countries. It's not like walls between every single country, uh, especially in today's you know global fucking interconnectedness unless you're in trump country we put walls we do put walls we put fucking walls i put a fucking wall between me and my neighbor and (laughs) i got walls Um, good fences make good neighbors that's that's right right. my my, dude my whole neighbor like that's the thing i fucking i i be i'm the nobody cares about the fucking fences (laughs) and i have i end up rebuilding entire fucking eight foot sections of fences because nobody all three, because you know how like there's my house and then there's one, there's somebody on the left, there's somebody's on the right, and there's somebody directly behind. It just so happens that all three of those households could give two fucks about their property and what it looks like. Um, all great people. You know what I mean? I'm not not well, tell you. I love them, I love them dearly. All kinda of them kind of are though, bro. But they are. but Benji's gotta end up becoming a goddamn fence contractor every two weeks <laughs> so anyway every two just, weeks damn dude not every two weeks but i'm you always made, replacing fucking pickets and shit train, and bro fucking rep- i had to replace a whole goddamn like section it sucks just because it nobody <laughs> i've shown y'all pictures too yeah dude, like, i'm the only sucks. one who gives a fuck but anyway <laughs> and i'll still do it i'll fucking Anyway. But nonetheless, so what do y'all you know think what about though? this whole thing? Well, here's the thing. I was wondering, because I, I used to like my old phone. It was I used to have a Motorola Pebble. It was like a little oval phone with a it was a little oval phone with uh with the rubber covering that was it was slided down and it was it was a flip phone. Okay. Slide it down and flip up on you. Dope. And anyway, I've been wanting to buy this again, uh, only because of the security issues that we have with smartphones. You know, um, I mean, I frequently talk to my wife about certain things and cool. shit comes up in phone. Instagram, you know? Oh, right. That happens a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. dude. You know, oh, I'm talking about, about a Chesterfield couch. It's something so stupidly random and it comes out in Instagram. Hey, oh, do you want to buy a Chesterfield couch? You're like, what the fuck <laughs> is this shit? <laughs> like, were you listening to my conversation? <laughs> no, mean, but they, but yeah, they were though. You know oh, I mean? they were they no, were they were they were 100 percent. they have Dude, this, um this was unheard of pre-2006 you didn't have oh, to worry about God. it and we we still haven't yeah. adjusted here's the fucking problem as a species as a biological entity we still haven't adapted to the reality of that and even somebody like bro like uh, me i have a i have like an alexa shit in my house as much uh, shit as i talk unplug I have, that shit we have a show. No, I know. I know. But I still fucking do it because I live in two worlds. I live in the world where I get on the mic and at nighttime once a week and do all this shit. But then the fucking reality. Then I you know what? I'm a, I, I keep picturing Anderson with Neo in one life. You're a successful computer programmer. Yeah, and it's over, that's, over, that's you, Ben. That's one me. it's over, by day overlapping realities i'm a complete by- fucking hypocrite <laughs> i do all this shit i got fucking amazon i talk shit about fucking amazon 52 <laughs> weeks out of the year like on the regular and then amazon's at my fucking house every other day <laughs> so listen don't do as i do do as i fucking say um, but yeah. on one hand you are a successful podcast man yeah. on the other on the other hand <laughs> <laughs> one of these the has matter. a one of these has a future um but yeah that's <laughs> yeah, it's not me it's, it's not the I'm podcast not, that's for sure I, yeah it's not the <laughs> right yeah unless but, you but, guys really deep deep and, and help us guys, out so you guys gotta start gigging your friends giving hand jobs whatever it takes just get more fucking people listen um but yeah, so this is this is scary, man. This is a uh, not just about state corruption of a tool, but this is advertising. This is everything. So uh, this is what Stoda warned about, you know. And you see Apple, and I don't care where people people talk all this shit about Apple, but you saw Apple take the the lead. They knew this was coming. So now every time you download an app, when you reintroduce yourself to that app for the first time, you get that question: Do you want this app to track you? I'll tell you right now. Since I've been saying no. I've seen dramatically less advertising poignant towards things that I've said. Mm. And so they are trying to combat part of it, but something like Pegasus, 
people, you know, the, the fear is the, is the terrorist, but the real fear is, is really the commercial side of it. Cause now they'll hack into you without you even knowing. And your money and your information is money and you're not even getting money for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Are the free paid service. money. You actually paid money. Exactly. To be uh to be a tool. Yep. That's the thing. That's the crazy part. And I hate to break it to everyone, but you know, there's a, a fairly well novel written talking about this shit. I mean, 1984 kind of outlined this, right? The yeah. TVs that listen, the microphones that are everywhere. We're in 1984. Yeah, we're living it right now. Think about it, you know. I mean, even so much so that, you know, a a fucking billionaire is about to go to outer space. He is. And I think we'll, I'll tell you what, let's cover, let's hit that when we come back. I'm going to hit it in the back. You hit (laughs) it. I'm sure you are. (laughs) Yeah, a little, uh, let's take a little break, guys. Everybody who may need to pee pee or or pause this thing and go do what you got to do. Maybe you want some snacks or something to drink but want to rub down or rub down foot massage whatever you want to need yeah. or whatever you want to to make happen but anyway i think we'll we'll go Kegels. into we'll do a little yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well uh what am i gonna hit you with i'll hit you with a little mic tackle box and i think nice. we'll finish the show with the uh, with jeremy masters uh audio delight but anyway so yeah listen to the uh groovacious tunes the vivacious groove of your boy and we will see you on the other side And we are back. It's party in the back time. Skip the noise listeners. So I just, I just wanted to open up. Uh, we're going to keep it loose here in the uh, second half. We, I, I felt pretty proud, man. The, the, the trios is reunited. We got to some very good topics. Uh, we might cover a couple things here and there, but we're going to have fun in the second half. Uh, we're excited to see each other as always. <laughs> That's so know? weird the way we're saying that. We're I know. I, I like to lose and have fun. You know, we're just going to see what I was, happens. I was trying to make it awkward. Um, you know, a la <laughs> Boy Scout leader, yeah. uh, youth you pastor. Know, from it Tennessee. doesn't mean anything unless you're laughing when you're doing it. Right? Yeah, if you're giggling, oh it's, yeah, it's not gay if you have your socks on <laughs> and your shoes on. <laughs> I think that's the problem. Those youth pastors were thinking like, oh, it's good because I'm still wearing my shoes. Exactly. That's not, oh that my didn't God. violate the rules. They thought it was all good. So you nailed really- it. They were still wearing their socks with their sandals, huh? Exactly. exactly. And the they were wearing their crosses. So as long as they wore their crosses and their socks and their tivas, it was it was it was accepted. It was it fine. was successful. Um oh, so before we before we get into that uh, so much jargon or spilled on socks and exactly. tivas <laughs> into that uh, counterintuitive jargon. I just wanted to point out a funny little story today. <laughs> Um, as you may have, may not, if you're a skip the noise listener for a long time, you'll know that I'm a little bit of an odd personality. So I took, uh, today I was off, man. I did not have to work, which is a, a very refreshing because I had a rough day on national ice cream day yesterday. Not going to get nice. into details of that, but it was a little bit, uh, it was a little trying as, as my work, uh, can be sometimes, but anyway, so today was nice. You've got some yard work done. You know, like I was busy. I'm always busy, whether I'm relaxed or not. I'm always doing shit. That's just my, that's just how I operate. But as long as I'm not working, 
Uh, I only got one or two texts from the boss today, which was, that's acceptable. Really? Normally, normally it's, yeah, yeah. Normally I, I can't go 24 hours with getting a work related text. That just doesn't happen. Whoa. So today was, today was, yeah, that's a whole nother show. Whoa. So today I had the kids, uh, we went and, uh, we brought mama some lunch after, you know, starting the day out with some yard work. My son and I cut the grass. I had some, you know, take care of my little garden there, which is the, um, if you know, if you listen to uh, episode 56 last week, uh, myself and Shepard, that cult is um, probably one step closer to being becoming a reality. Um, but so the garden that I'm nurturing right now took care of that, did a little thing. Anyway, we went to Bucky's. I live right by a Bucky's. Bucky's is a Texas establishment. And now I think they have, they've actually branched out into other states. They have some in Florida, uh, but it's a big cultural icon here in the state of Texas. They're basically, they're not truck stops. They're, they're, they're as big as truck stops, but trucks aren't allowed. It's for travelers, right? Primarily or going through interstate or highways to come and stop. And the one I live by is, is kind of a miniature one but it's still, they cook their own food. They've got, they're very famous here in the great state of Texas. I just so happen to be lucky to live like right by one. So we stopped. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, no, it really, it really kind of is. I get the yes. vibes. Like that's yeah. why I sell all my coolers is in the Bucky's parking lot. So shout <laughs> out, you know what I'm saying? You can catch your boy Benji out there with the fucking 25 in that business. Just doing a little business. Yeah. It's been a while since I mentioned that I am the Harris County cooler King, but we'll, I digress. <laughs> So I've got three of my four little baby girls in daycare. So I've got the three rascals and we're going, uh, I said, yeah, you know what? Um, whatever. I'll, I'll get y'all. I'll get everybody gets icy. That's cool. I'm going to grab me an iced tea. So we go into Bucky's he march in a nice, neat single file line. Uh, I, I get, okay, grab your cups, get your straws, like y'all hook it up, like whatever the fuck, if you want half red, half, just you, y'all fuck with that. I'm going to go look for whatever. So he's, ah, can we get blah, blah, blah. So I ask them, hey, okay, you can get chips. Everybody gets one snack. Nice. You can either pick a candy or snack, whatever. So they got their ICs, got their chips, or their cheese puffs, whatever the fuck they had. So everybody's happy. Everybody's got like one item each or a drink and a, and a snack. I just get, uh, normally I get coffee, but I'd already had a lot. So I just got like iced tea, like in a big ass fucking styrofoam nice. container. Yeah. Which costs like fucking 50 cents <laughs> for like 75 ounces. Fucking, you have to carry this motherfucking enough, style. Enough fluid to like literally support a small town. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm being an asshole. I could support an entire fucking village in some remote part of a <laughs> third world country with the amount of liquid that I'm fucking putting in this styrofoam cup, but whatever. That's how we do it in Texas. Everything's fucking big. So I go to the register and uh, I said, all right, come on, kids, put all your shit on the counter. So they put all their chips, their ices and stuff. I put my tea and uh, the girl looks at it and she's like, okay, sir, that'll be 11, whatever, 1135. And I look at, <laughs> I look at my oldest daughter and I'm like, $70. Jesus, like, God, like, all, like, what are y'all doing to me? $70. And the girl's kind of looking all confused, but she's kind of like, okay, this guy's like, he's funny. He's been, so she's, she's cracking a smile a little bit. I was like, $70. God damn. It's like, man, that's expensive. And I said, all right, fine. So I put in my card. I was like, whatever, $70. <laughs> she's still looking at me like it's only 11. Or so I'm playing it like it's 70. And my oldest, like, she gets it. Like she's got the fucking humor vibe. So she's like, oh, wow. That's like, that's, that's pretty expensive. And then I pull it out. It's all right. <laughs> I turned to her and it's a fucking packed. So, cause this is around noon. That's the other thing I should add. We had to wait. We were like seven, eight deep in line. So I finally get up there and it's all crowded, you know? So all the cashiers are trying to be quick and efficient. And then I looked, I looked at my daughter and I go, all right, y'all. I said, this is all your food. I said, <laughs> it's like, you better conserve this shit because this is all the food you're going to get for the week. <laughs> oh, my God. The girl started laughing. But I said it like dead ass, like deadpan. <laughs> she, like she had this like nervous laughter. Like, that's pretty <laughs> funny. Like, obviously, he's joking. <laughs> but what? The, but at the same time, it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what did I just? uh Man. Anyway, man, it was fun. Everybody got a good laugh, dude. We left. We got, uh, we enjoyed our high season. I like it, bro. I like, you know, the only thing that's missing from the story is some guy turns around and just gives you a high five, like, yeah, brother, I know. 
They should have. Time, like, they, nobody, <laughs> there was nobody. Nobody was uh, around to give me a high five. But I go. No. To, my point is, man, this is my this is my home space, man. I go to Bucky so often. I like to fuck around. Like when I, uh, you know, sometimes it's just a very genuine, heartfelt conversation with the cashier. And sometimes I'm keep trying to keep them on their toes. I'm trying to keep it weird and see if they can keep up and uh, see what kind of sense of humor they have. You know what I mean? Why are these life different? You know. Why make Bucky's these inter- life. exactly? Why make these interactions so mundane and whatever? Spicing it up. Have bro. a little fucking fun with it, man. Yeah, man, you throw a little cayenne pepper in the mix. I feel you. Exactly, feel you. and I enjoyed. I put a little bit of lemonade. You know, like I said, I had a seventy fucking six ounce uh, unsweet tea, but I I throw a little bit of that Bucky's oh, home, oh, homemade went, homemade put lemonade. A Tom Collins on that. I did. Tom Tom Collins or Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer, whatever. It's all the same. Now, but Arnold Palmer would be 50 50. I go maybe like 30 70. I wonder what that would be. Nice. All right. Greg Norman. 37. No, it's a (laughs) big Just just naming other golfers and shit. It's a Lee Trevino. (laughs) Nice. I I too went to uh, Bucky's this past weekend. Oh, Oh, it was really cool. You know, my kids loved it. You know, they each got that Bucky's uh, stuffed animal thing. But, you know, we didn't – that was part of the trip. Where we ended up was at the um, – at an indoor water park. That's where we're headed down in Austin. Oh, you uh, went to Austin. And, okay. Yeah, we went to Austin to an indoor water park, uh, the Kalahari Resort. Now, have you ever been to an indoor water park? Oh, God, yeah. I know Ben has. Great Wolf, oh, right? Great Wolf. Great Wolf. I have oh. I have not. I've only been to out, outdoor once. Dude. It's, I, it's, yeah, I'm, yeah, it is. I'll let Rick awesome. take it away. It, it is right. the most ridiculous thing you've ever been into, it's man. So stupid. Very stupid. So you dumb. walk in, and it's it's literally this indoor water park at, with an arcade and a series of hotel rooms that's considered a resort. Yeah. Now you can walk in here, and you see nothing but screaming kids and families, and everyone's all <laughs> pissed off. They don't want to be there. And it smells um, like ass. That's it. It smells like ass. Yes, because yes, the humidity is collecting oh, that's in right. this internal chamber, and they heat the pool <laughs> in the internal chamber. The oh, internal God. chamber of swimming excellence, and it smells like shit. So swimming like, oh. sweat ass. Dude, it really like, is the eternal chamber of chamber swimming, swimming sweat, sweat ass. ass. Oh, that's the know. name of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> you goddamn right, it is. <laughs> So continue, Hold Rick. On. Tell us about your your your, your, <laughs> no, dude, your the I, eternal chamber of the sweating. I sweat walked ass. in and I, I I walked in and it was I'm almost like cry, oh. dude. I'm about to piss my pants. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, that's the eternal chamber of the oh, pissy boy. pants. Oh boy, he's old now. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, and our, our 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 esteemed <laughs> colleague is over. It's that's over. Just, he pee uh... his pants. He pee peed it. He did. Yeah, I'm ready for those depends. <laughs> He's stuck in that internal chamber. <laughs> so continue. Oh. So your your miserable onslaught of pissy pants. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. It's, it it was just weird. It was it's a weird environment. You know, I'm used to national parks. I'm used to like walking outside. This thing was all enclosed, man. Yep. It didn't have any windows to the outside. You're you don't have windows to open up uh, in your hotel room. I know. You got the indoor water park stinks like fucking chlorine and ass. It does. Uh, <laughs> that's I like a good does, party man. that's a good bachelor party chlorine ass. chlorine ass yeah man that sounds like fucking fun uh and it's, there's this arcade there that's meant to be for kids but it looks like a i don't know like a chuck e cheese on steroids okay <laughs> okay it's not like in a you're las not... vegas kind of way i mean oh, this thing okay. is like like if you're susceptible to seizures, you're gonna get one in this place. Oh, I get you. Lights and shit. Lights, Lights it's so and bright, games noisy and noises. And you got you I got rides you. in there. It, it was just uh, so I went with uh, two other families. You know, we met up there. As, you know, we're friends or whatnot. And uh, it, the <laughs> and dudes all had the same behavior <laughs> that I did. I mean, they were all just like, "What the fuck am I? Where is this? Like, how long are we gonna be here?" Oh yeah, Not, yeah, man. It, it's it, horrible. It was, it was a horrible. It was a horrible experience. I would never do it again. And my kids, you know, I I walked them into the uh the, the swimming area, and all I could think about was other people's fecal matter, other oh, people's bro. sweat, other people's, oh. you know, body oils. It was Dude, disgusting. Man. Body oils. <laughs> yeah, wow. What you should what kind of resort what are you gonna do about that? <laughs> you can't do anything about it. 
I mean, no, no, fucking you, body I, oil. Trap. Nobody forced you to go there, bro. There's the basis gland that. excretions. There's a, I have a fun story about that. Um, oh, I, used to be, I used to be in the swim team back in high school. Did you and, wear the Speedos? Uh, what? I did. I wore the Speedos. How did you kind of racist? The dude, how did your dick fit in the pool? <laughs> I know, right? That's <laughs> cheating. You just <laughs> pulled. You up. just pulled your dick out. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just, wrong, <laughs> you know, he just he touched the other side. And they're just like, fuck. How do you that's beat it. that? He just sits. He's got his two elbows up on the side. <laughs> oh, he's no, just dude, sitting there. He had he had a just... porn. In. He had a porn. And as yeah. soon as it was game time, he just looked at it, and just kapla, just bro- like just broke brah. the other side of the pole. Yeah, it's a it's a buzzer. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So a side story about that, about the oils thing. So I would, I was in swimming. I was in high school. I was a teenager and I would have had a shit ton load of acne had I not been for swimming. What happened <laughs> oh, that, was that my corny. face was so oily that I'd get into the water I'd come back out. And I would see this rainbowy film around the water. Oh, fuck. Dude. That's how much oil sure I had in my face. Like a lava baby or something. Like, <laughs> what the? Fuck? You, know, you know how like cars, you know, when yeah, it you know, rains, you see like, yeah, yeah it looked just little... like that, but it was spreading out. A little rainbow, a little rainbow of disgust. <laughs> yes, you know exactly what you're talking about. That would come out of my fucking face, man. What? And uh, yeah, I, so I didn't start getting acne until I was in college, bro. Did y'all like live anymore. next to a fracking station or something? Why are you so oily? <laughs> I don't. Know. Like, I don't yeah. it's like that's what teenagers I don't think, do, man. Dude, I don't think this has to do with acne, bro. I think you're like. I think there's some environmental concerns that you're all. I think so, man. I think they were doing experiments and shit on the community yeah. there. In the, <laughs> Rick the, was the like, water dude, you're in Laredo, you're bathing in five W forty and shit, bro. <laughs> that's so funny. Fuck. I remember, dude. My I had, my dad had a friend. It was like his his uh, his homeboy he grew up with and shit. And so every now and again, we this guy was kind of a loose cannon though. And so he would just say like whatever the loose fuck can. He would say. I remember one time, like, because I was you know prime time age for like having acne, and like I had a few zips, and he's like zits, and he's he said. <laughs> I remember just like shaming me, like the fuck's wrong with you? Like why do you drink? You drink sodas? Like, why do you have so much? Uh, he's like, just drink water. Like, Come why do you have to? And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Like, I don't know. He's like, stop eating all those fucking greasy food. I was like, we didn't even discuss like the fuck I eat or anything. <laughs> like, you're just, you're fucking judging me, dude. But it's like <laughs> every, he was, he was completely judging me. Like I'm a piece <laughs> of shit. Because like I'm not eating the right things, or I'm not. Uh, well, you are a piece of shit for not eating the right thing, man. I mean, come on, you're going, dick. I eat the shit. <laughs> you're Dude. causing your acne, Ben. Yeah, it was like it was my fault. I'm like I'm God. a fucking teenager. Every fucking teenager has acne. <laughs> fucking asshole. No, man, he's just jerking off too much. That's why you got too much acne, man. You're right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you fucking. That's why your vision. That's why you have. Yep. You have to wear contacts. <laughs> but jerk, awesome. All you do is jerk off all day. <laughs> you didn't get I'm blind. You just got. 40 over 10 vision. Yeah, exactly, shit, right? dude. 650 <laughs> divide whatever divided by fucking 235. Whatever my fucking <laughs> the square root of eight. That's your vision. Um, so like, yeah, I mean, fuck, dude. Yeah, that's man, that was a horrible shit. experience at, at, at the Kalahari Resort. I mean, oh, dude, so great wolf not place, knocking dude. it. It was a nice resort, it was clean, but it just wasn't for me. And it I don't sound for like an ass. Hold on a second. I was gonna say it doesn't sound like it was fucking very clean. No, you said bro. it smelled well, like chlorine. The water, no, 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 the water was different, but the rooms and the lobby and everything was pretty standard. It was nice, but okay. uh, the activity area where it, where the entire hotel congregated in one spot was I don't know, man. For me, it just didn't seem sanitary. But I'm sure they, I'm sure they try their best. Well, you know, I, I went to Great Wolf, and I have to agree. It's the same type of bullshit. First off, the climate control sucks, so the water is still a little chilly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, and on top of that, it just feels like a lukewarm mess. You know, you, it's just you wonder is it gross. piss or is it is it, it is piss? It is piss because there's so many children in there, and you it's know just they're piss. just peeing all in there, like. It's just horrible. So, yeah, don't, uh, no, no, just don't go to those things. And I'm not trying to, you know, I, if you have your next family vacation plan for an indoor water park, just, I don't know, wear a condom because it's, it's <laughs> dirty. It's horrible there. Wear a body condom. <laughs> wear a body condom. Do like a naked gun condom. Um, But just, but yeah, man, I, I didn't like it at all. I hated the experience. You know, when we when I was a kid, my parents would take us to Fiesta, Texas a lot. And Which one? Fiesta, Texas. Yeah, you know, San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, Texas. Yeah. The thing is, is that every time I'd get into the wave pool, 
I'd always come home with a with either sore throat or an ear infection. I was gonna say an STD. An STD. Well, that yeah, I'm sure that herpes. was it. Yeah, you got herpes in his throat. <laughs> yeah. Astro World, yeah, that's where you got herpes. Oh, yo, Astro World, you got pregnant in that whirlpool. Yeah, yeah. you're a dude come out going, oh "Fuck, I'm six weeks pregnant." Dude, I didn't I'm, know this yeah. happened. Bro, I'm in my oh. third trimester. I just showed up like a couple dude, hours. Water ago. World was fucking rank, dude. I mean, there's so much horribleness. <laughs> you know what I miss, polls, you know, bro? You know what I fucking miss about Water World is they oh had. My God, I think that's where AIDS was created. With Water World. <laughs> It's a petri dish <laughs> to create AIDS. You know, like fucking Corona was created in a Wuhan lab. AIDS, AIDS was created in a water, water world <laughs> slash astro world. You get off the fucking Viper, you know what I'm saying? And then you go Back. over to Water World, you got the towels and shit. Oh my yeah, God. My home, dude, one of my best friends. Oh, I love fucking Astro. Like we never bought a, a season pass. I just mooched off uh, one of my good friends that they did. It was him and his sister. And his parents, they always got a season pass like every fucking year, dude. And he was all he would always bring me. So probably 90% of my Astro World slash Water World trips were with this family. And uh, but it fucking it was badass, dude. Water World was the shit because they had um, and they don't have these anymore. This mm. is one thing that I'm fucking bent out of shape that you can't do regularly. Bent out of shape. I love this. I am, I'm bent out of shape. One of my favorite fucking activities in the entire universe to do is cliff diving. And I didn't know that until I went to Waterworld and they had this oh, fucking, basically yeah. it was just like a cliff. It's just <laughs> it a did. big ass cliff and you could just jump off the fucking shit. And it was like 50 fucking feet or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> That's all you need to keep me entertained. I would try to do like, Oh, how many flips can I do? Or how many fucking can I dive perfect without like completely inverting and landing on my back and slapping the shit and, <laughs> and, and going, ripping going, the skin off, my ripping body. the skin. Yeah. And going into a complete seizure. No. So I, I learned how to dive and I would go, I'd go up like fucking 30 times. Cause like you could just keep going. Like you'd have to kind of get in line and they'd let one person jump at a time. I would literally spend like 60% of my water world trip jumping off that fucking cliff. And they don't do that anymore because I guess people will get fucked up or it's too, it's not safe. That was one of those things that crept up on me. Like I never realized that you couldn't really do it anymore. And I mean, you can find a spot right in nature, but yeah, good luck with that. And <laughs> fucking Houston. Texas. Yeah, yeah, dude. So many pregnancies. But anyway, like it's world. so underrated dude. Fucking cliff diving. Like whether it's in, in nature or it's just jumping off a big ass shit. And like you go to like public pools, they don't have like fucking high dives anymore or uh they or even diving boards i mean i'm sure no, you no, can no. find oh, no. some that most do, of but... them don't anymore like most of the community pools took out diving boards yeah they don't even have diving boards. Well, it's liability like, right yeah I mean, you got you Somebody got fucking fucked some up. yahoo fucking deciding that they're fucking i i i into all professional divers out there i'm so sorry but you know whatever chipper jones diver you know, they go out there trying to be like a fucking, Jones, I don't third know. base from fucking Atlanta Braves in the fucking know. dynasty. Oh, I don't know. Like, there's gotta be about? another one. There's gotta yeah. be another diver named right. Shepard Jones. So I'm sure there is. But you know, they're trying to pull off like a double somersault with like a twist off a fucking little diving board and like bust her head on some shit. I mean, you can do and then they'd have to close the pool for the day because someone was bleeding it. Right. Yeah, all the blood in the fucking pool they have to get yeah, that. But... Yeah, but dude, water world. Fuck. Water world is the shit. Astro world towards the end. Oh god, that I was mean, if gangland. You, if bro. you didn't get robbed at gunpoint, it was all good, man. It was yeah. a fun fucking time, dude. If you could make it to Grease Lightning the, without the Texas being cyclone, robbed, yeah, good exactly. job. <laughs> or, or being trying to be uh, clicked in, clicked in, or or um, you know, converted into a life of prostitution. You, you know, Astro world um, is just like really an outdoor prison. That's really all it was with rides. It was. Really, it was kind of pretty. The whole other prison with rides. <laughs> hey, hey, man, this is yeah. my side of Astro hey, World, boy. <laughs> He's like, what? I just want to ride yeah. it. You'd have to like as soon as you paid your admission, you'd have to fucking claim the set and <laughs> shit. Hey, what set you gonna hang out today? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna rip that yeah. grease lightning fool. That grease lightning. I want to ride that bitch all the time till I get Fuck sick. Yeah. Go backwards and shit. Shit, yeah. How many was it, man? I, I didn't go to Astral before they closed. Oh, dude. It closed in oh, 2004, right? Man, oh, out. dude, it was yeah. nothing but dudes in, like, Looney Tunes t-shirts and, like, people claiming sets. It was bad, <laughs> dude. It was. But, Remember when the Looney Tunes security like, or anything? Yes, dude. Oh, the security really. were terrified. Okay, we're terrified. <laughs> 
terrified of these uncontrolled like teenagers that were all gangbangers that were the- just willing to n- n- fucking <laughs> nuke <laughs> motherfuckers Security for any room. reason. 15 year olds. Like, Dude, there people was no- were carrying guns, knives. They just started putting the knives on the guns. It was fucking madness, man. It was crazy. That it that fucking great. astro dude, it was great. It was great. It was, it was great. It was great. I you could buy it. your. I just remember. <laughs> hey, so uh, what are the what are the how much of the Houston population is attributed to Waterworld? You think? I mean, oh, twenty nine percent. Oh, that's a great dude. <laughs> that would be so fucking great to have that oh, statistic. Dude. There was so <laughs> much pumping going on there. There was just dude. That place was just a dirty cesspool of just. Oh my god! You had chicks in bikinis. There's like areas where you would literally see people like sneak off to and just go take go a piss, town. and there's people fucking in the stall. Yeah, just like, going to town, and you're just like, I'm nine years old. I don't want a teddy bear. And you see this <laughs> dude like ramming some chick. It was, it was crazy, man. But you know what? That was a different time. That was a different time, it was, right? Man. But it was a great place. It was a different great time. memories. But oh, before we before we ever before we exit today, I definitely want to talk about the death pool on fucking Bezos. Oh, that's right. What do you What's, got? What do you got? Go so do you do you think he's gonna okay? Do you think this is a successful mission or not? Dude, I seen that rocket, man. It looks beat up, man. Right? That Dude, rocket looks, it looks beat like a up. dick. It looks like a dick. Yeah, it literally does. It has a mushroom head and a okay. base. Look, it, it goes at, like a couple of nuts. Oh, bro, it's pretty. It, oh my god, I'm I'm you gotta pull it up right now. Pull up. Je- what's it called? The Jeff Bezos. So it looks nothing origin. like. It looks nothing like Branson's Virgin <laughs> double. No. Double plane. No. Okay. It looks like a penis. It has a full head. It, it also doesn't look like penis. SpaceX. No. SpaceX, SpaceX usually has you know it's got an extra rocket. You know this thing <laughs> looks like. Like a penis, it's gonna go right up in, into the space's butt, you know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna fuck the proverbial space. It's, it's gonna yeah. just swim all in there. Um, but you, okay, so the crazy thing is, if you've seen, so the mechanism for this is fucking nuts. The 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 rocket lift, dude. Off. It looks like exactly like a dick. I told you, <laughs> I'm I not even look. Right I'm not, I I tend to over exaggerate, <laughs> but this thing looks 100 percent like a cock. It looks way too much. It like does. A dick. If <laughs> dude, is... if you painted that flesh colored, bro, you couldn't. This you couldn't is get any more. fucking preposterous. I told this, you, bro. This looks I like told a you. cock. So, do you think the cock in the cock is gonna make the space, dude? This, I'm, yeah, dude, that looks like a that looks like a. I told you, I'm not even playing. Like for all listeners out there, please stop if you can in a you safe know. position and look at the content. companies that have trillion dollar valuations yes ladies and gentlemen i said one trillion dollars what was that's the valuation of fucking tesla right now what did he what did he make in the one day 36 billion that purchase 36 billion okay so i get excited let's put this in perspective Um, right i'm a grown man i'm a right of you know, I, w- I would have to say venture to say from an objective point of view, reasonable success. You know what I mean? I have uh, healthy kids that are all doing well in school. Right. Um, you know what I mean? I have a beautiful wife that has a job that's right. coherent enough to have a job. <laughs> like all these things are positive. We have a house, right? That right. we are current on all our payments. Right. Ha- have two vehicles. Uh, one of them paid off. One of them we're paying on, but everything's fine. Credit score is good. Um, <laughs> however, I love this shit. However, in no form or fashion, I used to get excited when I would hit a hundred dollar lick out in the parking lot, pushing carts oh, back. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I was like oh, 19, yeah. 20 years old, that's the most, like to this day, like I might sell, you know, maybe I, I go double up and I sell two coolers in a day. You know what I mean? In the Bucky's parking lot. Gangster. You know, or maybe I've got some old stereo equipment that I hit, you know, I hit a nice little 75 or something like, cool. are you okay? Right, right. 36 flipping, billion. Flipping. 36 billion. Right. Like dollars. I feel, I feel 
like anything over 50, I'm like, Ooh, okay. There's a little, this is worth my while this afternoon. It's, it's madness, but right? 36 fucking billion. billion like dollars. in one, just one kabat. Like, Oh yeah. What happened today? What was, what transpired? Yeah. Eh, had a pretty good sale. Pretty good sale. <laughs> yeah, client, uh, <laughs> pretty good sale. Client decided to purchase a hundred thousand of any hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. Let's say you made one dollar widgets and someone purchased a hundred thousand one dollar widgets from you. That's still a hundred thousand dollars. That's, like a, good day, just, that's a great fucking year for most people. So just to kind of just touch on this because you know, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. So there's a couple of countries, there's a couple of countries. I mean, basically there's companies that are bigger than most countries. Um, but there are that are countries. there are a list of public corporations that are over a trillion dollars. Um, one of them being of course, petrochem petro China. Okay. Sure. Trillion dollars. Um, right. Apple right. <laughs> also a trillion. And this is interesting. Apple hit the $1 trillion mark in August of 2018 and then hit the $2 trillion mark in August of 2020. So Apple is actually worth $2 trillion. Amazon, $1 trillion. Microsoft, similar feat, uh, hit $1 trillion in June of 2019 and then hit $2 trillion in June of 2021. Other companies that rounded off would be the alphabet company, which of course means Google and all of their subsidiaries. Right, right, right. Uh, Facebook yeah. for a time being was in the trillion dollar and now they're slightly out of it. And then of course, Tesla, which is uh, just joined yesterday, the one trillion dollar company. Yeah. This, just to put into perspective, right? Major countries do not have GDPs of a trillion dollars. Like major oh, yeah. countries, like actually several countries that you think of, you're like, oh, that's a big country. Do not have GDPs of a trillion dollars. I mean, just- You, get, you got any examples? Oh yeah, oh, I, as we speak, GDP of, oh no, GDP over a trillion. A trillion dollars, hold on. I mean, it's almost ridiculous, right? To just type type that in, um, you know. It, I mean, so these are some of them, right? Um, let's see. I mean, it, it literally is of, of of the you know. Hold on a second. I'm trying to kind of get an idea of it. So the trillion dollar club in the macroeconomics, uh, United States, right? Mm -hmm. The EU. Obviously. Which comprises like the of whole thing, a yeah. continent. That's a I fucking it's continent. 21. It's not a continent. Uh, it's Japan, a continent. France, United Kingdom. Um, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the big one. I mean, that's, yeah, this is huge. A handful. Netherlands. I mean, this is only like, we're talking Where's about, Germany? let me Where's count. Germany, yeah. uh, Germany, it, dude, Germany's up there. Germany's up there. They, they yeah, hit Germany's it. Pretty Spain's productive. in there. Brazil, China, Mexico. Hmm. Yeah, we represent South Korea, <laughs> India, Netherlands, Australia, Russia, Turkey, Belgium, Indonesia, Poland, Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> Dude, those motherfuckers just, they just must have decided to report their trillions because those dudes have been bo -bo balling, fucking platinum, fucking plated cars and shit. Switzerland. Wait, you're talking. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. I think you're you're thinking of Switzerland. No, 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 fucking Saudi Arabia, bro. Oh, Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry. You know, I thought Bubble you were talking about Sweden. bangers. Man. I was like, Bubble bangers. Yeah, no, Sweden's Saudi in Arabia, there. Yeah, Argentina. Saudi Arabia is like gold plated, yeah. gold plated, gold plated, diamond plated shit. <laughs> well, Argentina. Like layers, okay, you can't through. The only problem in Saudi Arabia is you can't get through. Uh, any road things because of all the dark. I know, right? And, and if you fuck up, you're gonna get, get your, to you're gonna get dark. nugget in the middle of a fucking soccer stadium. <laughs> Jesus, but at least the sword you that just, hits you is made out of diamond. You, you have it's to shovel the up. diamonds out of your driveway. <laughs> it's not even snow, it's diamonds. Um well, actually, no, I'm sorry. The list I just read, oh. the list I just read, I, I'm slightly wrong. Those are with at least a $500 billion economy. 
Oh, that ain't trillion shit. dollar economy. Actually, yeah, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say 12, 16, 17, 18 countries. Oh, 18 countries? 18 countries. 18 countries. And it is crazy. Have- so the, the, the list dwindles down as they continue to these economy numbers. What's 18? But, What's number 18? Uh, 18 countries. So if you go to, so at least a, so it could, the list continues. So chronological order of current nations having that have at least a $20 trillion economy. There is one and that's a good old yeah, US of A. Yeah, good of old US of A. I mean, if you think about it, we get rid of Russia like a long time ago. Like, like honestly, like I don't, that's the crazy thing. Like Russia, they duck out like a minute. Like, I don't even, yeah, what, Russia's you, barely the isn't the list? one trillion. Dude, I'm reading it. Russia's well, barely in the trillion dollar group. Can you, after do that, me do me a favor. Trillion. Can we just go down? Can we just go one through, let's go one through five real quick and see what? if we want, if we want to do it more. Yeah. No, you've what got you it listed. Yeah. Uh, like the oh. top, the top five. Oh, okay. United, well, United States, see. number one. Who's number two? It's definitely EU. EU. Is a, the which is count. that's it's cheating? Shit. It's cheating. It's horseshit. It's that's like f- on the EU we achieved it. Well, it's twenty one fucking countries. But anyways, China. <laughs> what if you just did North America, United <laughs> States, Canada, and Mexico? Fuck your right. list. Well, I hate to break this after after around after five right after four trillion. It just goes. It just is basically EU, United States, China. And you know, actually, another person that's hidden above the belt and doing pretty good for their size of their country is Japan. They're oh, up yeah. there. And then, of course, at the four trillion mark is where things kind of separate. Uh, four trillion mark, you have United States, EU, Japan, China, Germany, and India. But India mm-hmm. drops off at the five trillion dollar mark. But yeah, so in essence, that's you know, so one some countries companies have valuations, uh, especially Apple, the Alphabet Group, and Microsoft, they're $2 trillion companies. I mean, this is so they're up there. They're like in the, they're, they're damn near in the India range. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, let's see. Think. Let's see. Who India? drops off? Who drops off at a trillion? Oh, yeah, dude. Several countries like Netherlands, Indonesia, Australia. Um, I mean, fucking Mexico um south korea brazil i mean no no no. brazil's still holding brazil's still kind of no no no. so two trillion dude it's pretty bad it's a lot do this for me let's get there's like 260 countries in the world alphabet is if it is evaluated at what about four trillion trillion or two trillion okay so what's give me one example of a country that's two trillion two trillion dollars oh dude is that like i'll fucking give you two trillion dude fucking france France. Look at that. Okay, so there you go. They have more. They have more valuation. That company than, makes yeah. Vo- yeah than France. Fuck France. Nah, man. I, <laughs> I'll go. For I know. It. I'm just playing. All, all right, right. All right. I love the French. I'll ride on them. Um, <laughs> I, no, I do. I do like France. They get a bad rap. Uh, been I'm there. All, I'm all in. Been there. Been there. Agree with the rap. Agree with the rap. Been there. Um. But uh, I've actually yeah. technically I've been there too. I've been there, been there. Just uh, I agree with the I agree with the I agree with it. It's a, it's definitely a country that if you're going to visit, um, it's kind of like you know like there's that there's those, some of those bars in like Boston and in the Northeast where like you go in there and they talk shit to you and that's like the appeal, right? That's France. I mean, if you want to go and uh, don't get me wrong, there's beautiful parts of France, but if you're in Paris. Mm, it's rough. And I haven't been in hmm. like quite a while. So, you know, but either way, either way. So France, um, I mean, fuck dude, United Kingdom. Yeah. Like, Oh I, wow. You know, so there, no, there's three trillion. Whoa, so there's so, three, but still okay, pretty but basically. Close. Yeah. I mean, fuck dude. I mean, who else is in Italy? <laughs> Fucking Italy, dude, Italy, Brazil. I mean, Russia is the Russia. The the big that's what fucking, they make? yes two trillion. alphabet makes a like r- more Russia. yeah yeah Russia is like a punk bitch to them so like <laughs> nonetheless um you see this craziness you see this mad wealth and 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 now you know you just got to throw Tesla in there 
with uh, these mad, this massive sale from Hertz, which is interesting because I think Hertz is going, I think there is going to be that push for electric vehicles. That's going to be pretty big. I like dinosaur fuel vehicles. I know a lot of people, you know, have issues in the environment and shit like that, but you know what? There's worse polluters, you know what I'm saying? There's worse things that are, that are out there. So yeah, it is what it is, but with the push for electric and all that, I think Hertz just is kind of looking at the future. Plus also I could only imagine whatever type of government subsidies they got for this deal. I mean, there's, there's gotta be more incentives than, you know, than what we know about. There's gotta be, there's gotta be, uh, but yeah, that's, um, pretty, pretty crazy guys. It, it's yeah. It's a fucking bold ass move. It, it's unbridled I mean, capitalism. Real, I mean, think about it. it. Really Unfucking is. bridled capitalism. I wonder where does Hertz stand in the, Oh, and the like Hertz the, has a pretty good valuation. A- Avis. Uh, well, they got to have a- the big a- dick. Avis budget Hertz. Hold on, let's see. Hertz. What's the other one? Enterprise. Car rental value. Let's just see what they're worth. Company Hertz, I believe, was famously uh, wasn't. Which which rental car company was OJ? I don't know. Uh, was it budget? I don't know. I think it was budget. I think it was. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was it was it was budget for OJ. That's yeah. Weird. Dude, that's fucking it's money. But yeah, so I I I I'm trying to figure out what their what you know hurts company valuation. It's not really it, it, all the news is just filled up with how they just basically hooked it up, right? Um Hold on. 100,000 cars. That's fucking madness, man. Um, it's not showing me. I'm not seeing what they're worth. But, you know, I guarantee they're not worth a trillion bucks. But they just spent a fucking billion dollars because that's a lot of money on these fucking cars, man. So good for them, bro, right? Good for them. And, and I think electric cars, I think you're going to see more predominance of them because I've really started seeing this undercurrent. And you guys can fucking mark this here. What is this episode? What are we? 71, 72? No, 72, 72. right? mark this on 72 in the next five years we're going to see a massive push into nuclear power yeah the rumblings are there the underpinnings are there everyone's starting to talk about it you're starting to hear like even clean energy advocates mention how clean it is we're going to start seeing that which is going to be perfect for this electric car revolution because basically you know once we really start using nuclear power it really does reduce the amount of electricity cost. And at the same time, it's, it, it, it's while it's super dangerous of shit goes sideways, it's pretty fucking efficient. So mm-hmm. that's one thing we're going to see quite a bit more, I think. And so this is just hurts and them are just kind of playing into the future of that. You know, just, just hopefully nobody fucking gets trashed on shift and fucking causes a three mile Island and shit, you know? <laughs> I mean, fuck, dude. You know, fuck. You got what's his name? Uh, Carter was was fucking doing figures with everyone because I believe his in his, in real life he was like a he's like a really like a nuclear like almost a nuclear physicist or something. So he was actually doing calculations to figure out how big of the gas bubble that was building in there was. Like the, the anyways. Sorry, I digress, but. But yeah, so just that's the next thing we're starting to see. I think we're going to see a huge push for nuclear power, guys. You're going to start seeing everyone talk about it because, to be frank, if we can control it, it really might be a better option. But <clears throat> yeah, well, we always fuck shit up. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to see fucking people glowing and shit. But yeah, pretty neat, man. So you next time you rent a car from Hertz, guess what you're going to have? You could have a fucking, you could have a Tesla. Right. And, and And what's the best way to start? How does that, that benefits Tesla so much? Cause how many people will rent a car before they buy it? There's actually a pretty decent subset of people that will rent a car and be like, man, I really like that fucking car. Yeah. Maybe I should buy it. I mean, it's free advertising for Tesla in a sense. Oh, that's true. I and it almost, floods the market. I considered, I didn't end up doing it or pulling the trigger on the thought, but I rented a Dodge Caliber one time. Right. And strongly considered purchasing one right i didn't do it it, but yeah that was the thing 
But right, because you so, tried it out. For right. Yep. Not only that, look at yeah, look at it this way. So I'm gonna rent, I'm gonna rent a car. Okay. Right. That's way less commitment on the type and oh fuck. I see what this is. Yeah. I'm gonna rent a car. Um, you know what? I would never drive a fucking I would never buy a Tesla because I'm not a Tesla guy. You know what I mean? I got uh, hey, I, I, hey, I, I ain't no hey. Tesla guy. I'm not a hey, fucking, fuck these battery cars. Eh? I'm no yeah, fucking for pinko. the kiddies. I'm no the pinko kiddies. liberal. But you know what? I'm I'm visiting Aunt Tootie Fruity in Cleveland, and uh, fuck, I'm, I'm stopping dude. at Hertz. <laughs> Tootie Fruity in Cleveland. <laughs> I'm stopping at Hertz, awesome. and you know what? The only thing we got left, homie. Because rental car places never have what the fuck you want. Like they, they never have. Hey, I want a midsize sedan. Fuck yourself. We have minivans and yeah, fucking we have fifteen a passenger van. That's what <laughs> yeah, you got. we have. That's all we have, dude. <laughs> like, what do you mean talking about? Like on the shit, I booked it. Like it was on. Like when they get there, they're like, guys, like ah, uh, I don't know. Like, Sorry, let me sir. see if I can. Let me see if I can lick my thumb and get the graffiti off of your fucking bullshit car. Um, no, but so anyway, graffiti off. people, <laughs> people, people That's go to awesome. Hertz and they're like, you know what? Savages I'm, at your fucking I'm, local Hertz. <laughs> <laughs> well, this ain't enterprise. Dude. I mean, this is Hertz. Bro, so you got some savages at your fucking Hertz for real. Damn right. You damn right. And so, um, Oh, for real? You don't have the fucking, you know, the SUV, the blah, blah, blah. Fuck. All you have is Teslas. All right, fine. Fuck it. And then you get in the Tesla and you're like, oh, you know what? I get it now. I'm in a yep. Tesla. This thing can yep. massage my fucking ball sack. <laughs> I don't think the Teslas does that. I don't, I don't think that's do that yet. I don't believe so. This shit, I put this bitch on autopilot. Listen to my favorite podcast, Skip the Noise, brought to you by Rounded Edge Media. Fuck and massage yeah. my nuts with this seat warmer. Nice. I don't even have to drive. I take my hits. I'm driving a Tesla now. This is the perfect rental car experiences. It is, dude. And it, it, it's going to turn on a whole audience, bro. It's going to turn on a whole audience because it's going to turn on the business commuters, the people that rent them. And those are the guys that can also drive sales. So to me, it's fucking dope. I mean, it's a great move for both of them. But yeah. Um, oh, but speaking of fucking you know, cars, like the Mercedes, their S-Class, they have in the seats, hot stone massage. <laughs> How does that work, dude? I don't even fucking know, but it How works. And apparently it's supposed to be fucking spectacular. So while you're driving down the freeway, your like your backs is just getting fucking worked. It's supposed to be fantastic. Sounds amazing. Dude, I would even fucking imagine. I would I would be fucking dead within two weeks if I had some type of massager in the car. I'd fall asleep. Just fucking fall asleep. Uh, uh, check this out. I recently found so in my my wife was gonna actually have me sell it because you know, as you know, skip the noise listeners if you've been listening in the show for a while you know that i am uh very active on the the interwebs when it comes to selling bullshit merchandise nice and um anyway she wanted we had this uh this little neck massager that you plug in a little electric Ooh. electric joint it's got the little system and it's got you can you can even put lights on it or you know select that option <laughs> it's all led'd up and everything it's it's very official and uh i i notoriously have ne- i don't want to say neck problems but like i'm always the guy like cracking my neck and shit and everybody's like god damn like <laughs> like everybody gets all squeamish and shit just because I'll, I'll turn my head to the side like a fully go 90 oh, degrees yeah. with it and just like pop like i'll get these major oh. major pops um it's probably not good i don't know no, so maybe i could use a neck massage good. so i found we found this thing in the in the uh my wife's closet that she wanted me to sell uh and she's like yeah try it like plug it up so i I laid down on the the rug that we have in our living room plug that shit in i almost didn't do the podcast tonight because i was like you know how like when you scratch like a cat like behind the ear or a dog right and they're they just zone out and they're like oh i'm oh like i'm floating I'm floating in the fucking Mark Zuckerberg's fucking metaverse with glasses on. Uh, and, and I'm floating. I'm like, gravity no longer applies to my existence. Nice. Um, that's a anyway. dub existence. 
but yeah, I don't even know why I was talking about neck massage. I'm, I like this. I don't know where this. I know I'm, lo- I'm loving this. I don't know where the fuck it's going. I like. I like. I like these trips. You know, it's like it's like you know whenever you're like you're a child and you just get in the car, you have no idea where you're going. That's what happens That's what sometimes we do. with you. That sometimes yeah. you just you you start the car up, you rev the engine, and you just start driving, and then about. About sixty percent down the road, you're like, "Where the fuck are we going?" And I'm just like, out. "Who cares? Let's figure it out. Let's just ride, right? Dude, Second star to the right, straight on till morning." Yeah, man. So I, I come from a, a <clears throat> divorced household, so that means you know, Monday <laughs> through Friday with mom. Yeah. You know, weird, weird weekends with with dad, and like a lot of these dad trips. Where that's kind of my dad's personality. Yeah. That's kind of where I get that. It was just like if we went somewhere, like took a road trip. It was just like, yeah, fucking whatever. We'll figure it out. Like every yeah. time. So we always had these weird, like as a result of that, it's like, yeah, I don't even know if there's any fucking rooms open, but we're going to go anyway. We're going to get in the fucking car. <laughs> we're going to put gas in it. We're going to go. You end up in fucking Arizona and there's like no, ho- nothing open, like <laughs> whatever. Finally, you know, up to like 1230 in the middle of fucking midnight. Finally, there's like a super eight where like a Cub Scout. Nice. troop decided to bail or canceled on the trip because their bus <laughs> broke down like oh, okay cool so we get into like the city, you know what i mean and then chinese buffet caught on fire and whatever oh bro you figure it out as you go that's how my super eight some, that's how you sometimes say we right get there. yeah super eight man the little stains on the carpet ain't nobody I mean, bothering right. nothing just nope. be careful with your socks man keep your socks on wash your For hands every time you touch real Watch every time, you know, we're not going to put those utensils in your mouth, baby. You're going to sit there and you're going to, you might have to sleep in the bed. That's the only problem. You really don't know <laughs> uh, if there's a bed bugs or especially in the oh, days. Dude, in the days bed of bugs, you at least your worries. <laughs> bed bugs, at least your worries at a super eight, <laughs> yeah. bro. They get, that shit got, that shit got like COVID syphilis. Like, it's just like they, that's, they, that's what they, it is. they, the inter, they our... intermingled. Dude, Sorry. you know what I saw the <laughs> other day that was rough what as fuck? Think? red roof in <laughs> yeah, dude, the fuck it. dude it looked like it was built in the 60s and you could just see the prostitutes high heels hanging off of the balcony i mean it was rough, 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 rough. Yeah. like nobody stays there that genuinely wants to go to bed it's all no, meth no, heads no. and prostitution bro it was you know how those places scary rough i'm 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 going to skirt the edge real close on this Ooh, one. I like skirting. I like a skirt. Um, if you've ever been to places like this, um, there's a whole thing where you, you know, you'll show your ID and you'll have to pay cash, but there's no key involved because <laughs> there's no possible way that you're going to be there overnight. Right. Oh, like, like the like, hourly rate. Yes. Hourly rate. So yes. like the entire establishment is like, well, no, there's no key. You just lock it when you're in there and you fucking leave when you're done. You give me the money and you're done. Like that's, you know what I'm saying? That's how those places work. Uh, no keys involved. It's just, yeah, while you're in there, whatever the fuck you do for however long, you lock the door uh, and then you come out. Ah, oh, bro. Um, those anyway. places there's not yeah. enough bleach for those sheets in those places man I right mean, that's what that's, what, that's what I'm saying. oh the hourly rate places oh dude like especially like they're, they're they're always like a bunch of them all like group next to each other like yeah now that's a place where if you went to work it's a little iffy if you're gonna come back home right oh, i mean yeah. like you know that's oh, there, there that's was a place math. um be you might have seen it a time or two i don't think it exists anymore it's something else but right off of the um southwest freeway was the the roadrunner inn and uh this was you know a place that ladies of the night would conglomerate and uh but anyway it was a big little place over there and like yeah i had a friend that that i worked with at the time that's where he lived <laughs> <laughs> like the, it's not even economically savvy because like no you're, it's not you're losing, it's really you know expensive I mean? it's really expensive to like expensive live in those because it's day yeah you're paying daily oh even if you're paying weekly it's still like a ripoff oh. and Dude, uh, it is it, it's a shit yeah i just like, remember oh. it's like yeah he remember they were telling like yeah fucking i stayed the roadrunner like yo man like, <laughs> like every night like 
Yeah. That's why you're always broke. Yeah, I know. Okay. Fine. (laughs) Like, I don't know. I just remember. (laughs) Dude, what do you, yeah. I just remember that was that one time. That was the one time where I I knew a dude who lived like his resident was the road. Uh, And and, and, off off of the Southwest freeway. Oh, and that's a rough one. And, and this that's is not, nothing to not, do with not a great place. Yeah, it, dude, especially that's... with the locale of this. <laughs> there's a red roof in probably pretty close to that roadrunner in. There's all hey. oh, there's yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, well, you know, the funny thing is, is and this is not to discount like people that actually stay in like kind of corporate housing hotels and stuff like that, but right. this is like the real ones where like off the side of the freeway that basically say, like, you know. Like the, you know, it's sketchy. Like the roof, yeah. the shit looks yellow, even though it was painted white like 20 years ago. There's like the parking lot has a fence around it. Right. So you can't see the occupants that are in the hotel. I mean, it's like the strip yeah. club rule. You know, all the cars are in the back. So the wives can't see what's going on. These particular hotels have quite Straight a up. bit of that shit happening. Straight so up. Straight up. just da 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 dirty, brother. Da da dirty. So dirty. yeah, man. is dirty. My balls. Your balls. And your balls are about to <laughs> take us to the to the <laughs> end. Are these balls gonna take us to tell me. These balls are gonna take us to uncharted territories and deeper waters than we're used to <laughs> swimming in. And the balls are gonna take get us your life vests together and your little floaty rafts. Oh my um, god. Um, you know, this your inflatable life. paddle boards. Get your oh, oars boy. out. Come with this us. Is, we'll this is some real Ma- Emmanuel Kant shit right here, bro. That's this right. is some <laughs> fucking magic going on here. Oh fuck, right. dude. This is amazing. We'll this show you amazing. the new the new order of the billionaire <laughs> order sex of parties. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? Oh my god. That's awesome. The new order of sex parties. I love it. I love it. It's brilliant. It's it's, it's catchy. It's catchy. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I, I think people are really going to learn a lot from the new order of sex parties. I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. There's no international or intergalactic um, <laughs> planetary planetary uh, rule of law at this point. It's just oh, it's the wild dude. west. There's so a, yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Build so many your, horrible things. Build your your orbiting house of sex crimes do that for me <laughs> that's the title orbital orbiting house of sex crimes brought to you by nabisco hey, um <laughs> and we lost it we lost nabisco possibly sponsoring us ever 